<laughs> now you're from Texas, and there is. It seems like there's so much basketball, women's basketball talent in Texas. Is it Perlin? Is that how you say it? Perlin. Oh, sorry. Okay. I was going to say pearls. <laughs> um, what was it like? Like, who was good in the state as you were coming up? Like, what was the talent level like in Texas? Uh, the talent level was super high in Texas. My freshman year, I played with Amber Ron. She wanted to play at Stanford. Mm -hmm. uh, I played with Grayling Fell in LSU. She wanted to play at Iowa State. And then just, I switched high school after that. Then one of my teammates, Jordan Hosey, she's playing at Texas now. And then my other teammates went to Minnesota. So it's just so much talent in Texas. And just like playing against all different teams across Texas. And I see a lot of those girls now are, are on D1 college teams playing. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm excited about the Final Four being in Dallas because I'm thinking about all the grassroots girls basketball there. I mean, I, I've been hearing about the DFWs of the world. Who did you play AE for? DFW. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I've been hearing about the DFWs like forever and just the talent. So I'm excited to see what that will bring to other levels of, of women's basketball. So I love your social media presence. Let's dig into that a little bit. Wow. Okay. Um, your Twitter is fun. So you, you met Jamel Hill. I did. And got a follow from Jamel. Who are some of your other favorites on Twitter? Um, I really like you. You keep it real. So I like people yes. that are like, super honest. So. Yes. Yeah, it's super funny <laughs> While we're live. <laughs> um, you, you know who else is? Oh, wow, let me know. I don't want to cut you off. You know who else is real and funny to me? Dev Peters. Yes. Dev oh my gosh. no cut cards. Dev is so funny. <laughs> her honesty. I'm sometimes like, wow, like, she just said it so for mine. <laughs> but yeah, Dev is so funny. And when she comes to campus, I just love talking to her because she's so funny. And actually, Coach McGraw, like, she doesn't do that often. What she does is usually something like, yeah, good. she hits some little something. She, she hits some yeah. little punch. She doesn't do that often. She does this really great. But I, I feel like I follow like all those like parody accounts, like tweet like a girl, and like all uh -huh. those like all those like funny twi uh, twitters that are just making jokes all the time. So, yeah, and all these like food accounts, of course. But. Oh yeah, of course, food. That's important because what, what was your place? Uh, the burger place you were trying to tell me was just water so burger. good. Oh, water burger. Anyway, um. But in speaking of Dev, I think about just the brand of Notre Dame women's basketball. You've got Dev, you've got Natalie, you've got Sky. Like you, all, all of you, in some way, take after Muffet, in my opinion, in in the way that you are strong and you're confident and you're intelligent and all of that. Did was that part of what attracted you to Notre Dame? Because you had options. Like what what made you really ultimately say this is the place that I want to be? Um, I just I literally visited Notre Dame my junior year. My junior year on the flight back home, I was like, Mom, I'm going here. Like, sorry if you don't like it. Like, <laughs> Mom, sorry. this is school is for me. I'm um, just being on campus and just being, just, I don't know, just Co Coach McGraw's program is just so great. And, like, the players on my list are so welcoming. And then just watching them on TV and just, like, interacting. And they're just such a great program. It's it's speechless. So yeah. It's like me speechless. Yeah, you guys have a great coaching staff, too. You know, I mean, I think I'm, I'm more close to Carol Owens, but, you know, just a great staff of wonderful players in their own right and, and everything that you guys will do. Well, shout out to Niel for that Shanene costume because that was just, <laughs> that hot, That was one of my favorite See, Halloween. Was Ghostbusters. Was so, she? She, yeah, she didn't she put that was, out there. See, I, I was on the you. low. Yeah, let me, let me get that picture. Um, so ultimately this season, what is it going to take? You know, you've got new pieces. I, I still feel like you guys are rather young. I know you've got Lindsay. You've got some experience, you upperclassmen, but you're very talented as well in your freshman and sophomore class, which I think you're going to need. Um, what is it going to take ultimately for you guys to win a national championship this year? Um, I should say it's definitely focus on the little things. Because, I mean, people always say, like, we have to do this, this, and that. But if we can't get the basics down, like, we can't expect to be good at the end. So it's really getting those mixed box, miss, getting the box out, uh, rebounding on the offensive end, uh, paying attention to detail, like knowing the plays, just like those simple things that are going to really be a, a big factor in the end. Yeah, because I mean the the AP preseason rankings. You got you guys. You got Louisville. You got Florida State. I mean it's a it's a really deep year for the conference. So it'll be fun. But y'all have been running the ACC since y'all got in that thing. I mean, 